Hey, Betty Fish. It's the 1st of March, 2018. And uh, I've been, I just keep seeing these articles about this Trump uh, temple coin. Keep seeing them. And I had seen the image before, but I never saw it until yesterday that they are actually minting these things. And they're minting them right to specification. And you can actually go and buy these things. However, you should be warned, if you are going to buy these, you will be supporting the building of the temple. You'll be supporting the procedures for sacrificial rituals, and you'll be supporting the spiritual, ritual, and educational aspects of the temple services and sacrificial rituals. Please keep that in mind before you go buying these things, okay? But I saw it, this image right here. It was the image that got me going. And the fact that it was like put up at 1313, that's just something that I see. Um, but the fact that they called it the temple coin, when, you know, I never read it that way. I remember reading it as the shekel of the sanctuary, because that's what it's called, right? It can be translated into the temple coin, but it's called the shekel of the sanctuary. And I thought that was weird. Because this is very important. You want to read this. It's very, it's fascinating. But why would, why wouldn't they just put shekel of the sanctuary on there? Anyway, so I'm led. I am literally led to put temple coin into the gematria. And what do you think I got? This is crazy. 322, two, right? Now, as far as this whole thing I'm seeing, this is like two edged. This is given God messages. To the believers, you have found the keys to the kingdom, hallelujah, and to the non-believers who are essentially searching for their false messiah, their, their king that's going to create their utopia, whatever. Okay, that's, that's pretty universal. It's not exclusive to the Jews. But the fact that, that Gematria itself, you know, it, its roots, its very roots are Jewish. It comes from ancient Jewish tradition and mysticism and so on and so forth. So the ones who actually created this coin, okay, are the ones who created Gematria. And Gematria and all numbers and all letters are of God. That's just the bottom line. And Satan takes them and flips them upside down and, you know, perverts them and deceives the world especially the Jews, you know, but temple coin 322. But if we take the proper term shekel of the sanctuary and put that in, we get 1222 and 222 for me, this is personal between me and the Holy Spirit. He showed me a long time ago, 222 refers to the kingdom of heaven. And he showed it a couple of different ways. One of them, which was uh very uh convincing to me was isaiah 22 verse 22 when he talks about laying upon eliakim's shoulder the house the key of the house of david okay this is talking about jesus okay down the the the, the line right and you need to read this as well because what it describes is exactly what we see in, in history, when Jesus did come and they rejected him, all the way to today, it's absolutely fascinating and wonderful stuff. The other way that he led me to that is was through this image. And I know that this painting here that's supposed to depict Jesus giving the keys to Peter is, in fact, a 100% Masonic, Babylonian, Egyptian, whatever you want to call it, that spirit, that whole deceptive underlying dark spirit that's been with us all along that's what created this image and what they're showing here is they tell us the truth in one way they steer you away from the biblical reason he's holding the key and he's pointing it at jesus because jesus is the key okay so we see the other key just dangling here like a plumb bob that's totally Masonic, the compass and squares. Well, folks, if you put a compass on here, I mean, I'm also a machinist, a blacksmith. I do a lot of, you know, intricate stuff. I'm just telling you, that was confirmation from him to me 
after I was already confirmed in it with the Isaiah 22, 22, that that's what it means. It represents the keys to the kingdom. And why do I even bring that up? Because when I'm, I'm sitting here looking at the coin, I realize that it's telling us, it's showing us the keys. We, we see what we see and he's showing us everything we need to see. We have the keys, you know, don't lose the keys. Okay. And he's also showing us that this side is at work. 322, two, you need to refer to Genesis 3. I will link this, the Targum. This is what the Jews go by. The ones who created Gematria. So don't forget that. All right. And what really just sewed it all up for me, I'll show you. Um, the key of David, that's what it was. When I saw that in Isaiah 22, I was led once again to put that into Gematria, okay? And in the Jewish, we get 1189, right? So what did that mean? I'm looking and I'm thinking, what does that even mean? And I see Donald Trump, the image of Donald J. Trump. And I put it in there, Donald J. Trump. It's 1189, exactly the same as the key of David. You see what I mean? See, Trump is, I, I have no doubt Trump is being used by God. To what level Trump understands his place, I don't know. He, he just, I just don't understand his way of doing things, but his prophecy is being fulfilled. And these guys are trying to force prophecy into fulfillment. And they're obviously on the very wrong track. And, you know, they'll come to understand at some point they will know. And so that's what I'm seeing in this whole thing is God showing us you are definitely on the track. You have the keys. Don't lose the keys. Don't lose your shekel of the sanctuary, which is the key of David. It's all just related and connected all down the line. You see what I mean? And these guys, they think they're going to bring in their new Messiah and create their perfect kingdom. And so I thought that was really cool and I wanted to share it with you. Keep looking up. Keep seeking Jesus always because he's the only way. If you don't know him, seek him with a humble heart. And call his name. Ask him into your heart. And he will. He'll hear you. So peace and grace to y'all. Any fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God 